three. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. And you thought we just began. No, we're back because it's the re-entry buzz. We're entry buzzing once again as we uh, do this blind tasting competition for whiskey. Uh, the score is five. Or wait, is it six to six to one to four? I forget. It is but five, five, one, three, five, one, three. So Brian has the opportunity to get closer to my score but he can't beat me in season one because we're doing 10 episode seasons and uh, there was one tie and cole took the lead and but i have a feeling brian might do well today how do i know i don't know but (laughs) another episode another time we poured out the sample for the homies and by homies i mean us and um hey let's get to it what do you say yeah, wow. I say let's do it. I'm seeing a very like golden honey. I uh there is um there is color here, but uh it, I think I know what this is. It's pretty light though. Did you sniff? Is that where you're at? Yeah. Oh baby. It smells this great. This reminds though. me of something. Something that I have had before. And I'm oh, excited about oh. it. You know why? No. Because you think you're I like win. this pour. If oh, you if already I'm won. smelling yeah. it right. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Oh. Okay. Wait. So if Cole knows what it is already, then it's got to be Brown Foreman. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, I just I just have a thing for that. He does right. Just snatch it up. All right. You gonna sit? Yep. This is nice. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I think I know what this is. Oh, crap. I think I know what it is, man. So excited. I might Um, be wrong. I might be wrong. Might be way wrong. Okay. Well, okay. Forget that you know what this is. And just off that very first sip that you had, what would you pay for this? Uh, Don't just guess what the value is of that bottle you're thinking of right now. 80 bucks. Okay. I think I am, I think I'm 75. I'll, okay. I'll come around here. Yeah, I think uh, this is, um, well, I'm not supposed to give notes, but uh, this hits me well. I think there's there's good complexity here that I really enjoy. I, uh, I could sip this while watching a two hour long movie. This is pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's go to break. break. <laughs> we're going to take notes and we're going to come back and we're going to make our guesses. So here we go to break. We're back. This was a very interesting break for, for Brian and I, where I thought it was something. And then I'm like, wait, it might be something else. So I erased all my answers and took another guess and you know what they say go with your gut and this time i didn't feel so good about my gut i'll tell you why it was all dependent on the proof if it if the proof were a little higher i would have stuck with my original guess threw everything off so i'm going to talk about some um notes real quick on the nose um i said slight rye but really well balanced in terms of sweetness Uh, immediately i thought of nulu single barrel rye Uh, off this guy off the nose uh on the palette i said not too proofy uh it seemed a lot less proof than i originally thought it was and i originally thought it was a rye but this is so agreeable and almost fruity like like a appley fruity that i think this might be a low proof bourbon um and so i said and then i said on the finish i said solid but very light finish uh very light uh fruity but fades away somewhat quickly but still good nice uh i am like super excited to see what this is um because it just like it's good i uh i like it a lot i like uh, fingers are crossed that this comes back as some like 45 dollar thing you can always find on the shelf because so my notes were like a little bit of floral but mostly like bub 
oh sorry on the nose a little uh, bit of floral but like bubble gum sugar sweet very nice. like very sweet and mm. light and fruity i like that um on the palette i really like these palette notes <laughs> i'm uh-huh. a little biased but i like my own palette notes of banana vanilla and strawberry nice i can get strawberry uh, for sure the um the vanilla is probably the most prominent one but then that idea of banana uh i just uh i when i thought of that i just can't let go of it i love it so uh-huh. much um the finish for the finish i just wrote like this is like easy this is like a warm weather sipper this is mm-hmm. the it's like a medium finish that's mostly just like sweet fruit mm-hmm. so yeah really excited right. to see what this is I'm gonna I'm gonna make my guesses first and see how you react. Type, I said bourbon. Uh, secondary grain, I said rye. Distillery, I said tin cup slash MGP. Oh no! Um, I went. I put all my eggs in one basket on this one. So I, I thought it might be a 84 proof, which is the tin cup standard of the 10 and 14 years. Uh, it is a little, I thought originally it might be like 90 to hundred proof, but I'm like, I feel like this is, this is tin cup 14 age, 14 finish. No bottle tin cup, 14 score. I gave it a nine. I think this yeah. is a fantastic whiskey. Nice. Um, okay. So, uh, I was, I was bourbon secondary Ooh. rye and, okay. and like that was, It just, it felt too easy. It felt too easy. No, go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) I really liked the fruitiness and Uh and it's a kind of fruitiness that I only get with rice. So to hold true to my vanilla strawberry kind of fruity notes, I had to say rye. I just had to. That's what I originally had. Mm -hmm. uh, So I'm type rye with the secondary malty bees. Malty bees, babies. I got so all of this light, a little bit of floral fruity. I put four roses. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can see uh, this pr- being four roses, maybe. I'm I'm down there in proof, uh, but uh, just to hear you mention 84, I'm like, oh dang, yeah, this could be 84. But I said 94, so I'm a little nice. bit a little bit higher. Age yeah. six years, but. Like originally I said five, but I changed it to six. Like mm. I could even, I could see how this could be more than that. Cause this is very yeah. well-rounded, uh, mm-hmm. very soft and easy. Totally. Um, finished. No bottle. I just said four rows, a single barrel. Yes. I know that's a hundred proof. And I said 94, but that's mm. just what I said. Uh, my score for this though is 8.8. 8. I did 8. think 8. that this was very close to nine and this is the, quite nice. I like this a lot. Before we, open up our bottle or show our bottles you want to you want to know what your first guess was was oh uh, yeah absolutely you gotta so you gotta... i mentioned to brian during the break that like this reminds me of and even on the before we went to break i was like i think i know what this is my original thought was um nulu single barrel rye but then i was like the proof doesn't keep up with this but it reminded me of like a yeah. really good nulu rye um, nice but yeah uh, I, uh... so it can I go see anywhere, what you mean. But, yeah, those yeah. rice though, those uh, they pack way more of a punch than these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah um, that was my thing. It was like there was yeah. a lot more, it, but on the nose, I was like convinced it was Nulu uh, yeah. rye. But yeah, then when yeah, I tasted, it, I was like the palate. I mean, the proof is just not there because yeah. normally, like a Nulu rye will be at least one twenty. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I've seen 116, 114. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, you got to get that out now so that you can yeah. take partial credit when we reveal. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. At least I'll be somewhat proud of myself. Did you have a, <laughs> did you switch at all? Uh, no, I well, So I'm the worst with bottle guesses. Like I don't uh-huh. have like a, a directory to pull from yeah. at will in my mind. I, I can't remember uh-huh. all the things. So I got a, a season two, my goal for season two here, since, you know, this is the last episode for season yeah. one. Uh, uh-huh. I, I, there's an order I want to go in. I'm not going to disclose my proprietary order, Ooh. but, um, in the way that I guess things, I bottles, bottle guess has to be last. I'll disclose that, yeah. but I want to go through and I want to do a bunch of other things first and then what other whatever bottle vaguely fits all those things that's what i'll guess so uh-huh that's the plan moving forward okay well i Are guess you ready it's time to reveal, reveal. you yeah, ready i'm ready you ready i'm ready all right one two three. Oh, are you kidding me hey yo <laughs> 
Hunter Proof, E.H. Taylor, straight rye. Wow. I was way off. I'm impressed. Wow. So I think you probably won this one, but we'll count the score and we'll be right back. Man, man, did not expect this to be a Sazerac Buffalo Trace product. Uh, but I, it does match, actually, now that I think about it, because Buffalo Trace, to me, has some very bright, fruity notes. And I'm not talking about, like, dark berry fruity notes. I'm talking about, like, apple notes. And this is, even, even Sazerac tw- or Six Year has apple notes to me. And so does this, and so does Tin Cup to me. Um, so yeah, but but one of us came out the winner, and we'll go through the scores real quick. Um, so type rye, Brian gets three points for that one. Secondary grain. So Buffalo Trace keeps these things under wraps. We assume it's corn, uh, but since Buffalo Trace kind of keeps that under the under the table or whatever the phrase is. Uh, then we're just actually not going to consider the mash bill here uh, because we believe that they don't disclose uh, yeah. even even the order of, of the mash bill. But I think it's corn. But I but either way, neither of us got it right. Uh, I said rye. Brian said malty B. Um, and then distillery, I said MGP slash tin cup. Uh, Brian said four roses. Uh, no points there. Uh, proof, I said 84. Brian said 94. Just outside of the realm of getting points for Brian. Yeah, you I gotta know, be right? Five. I did originally have 100 there, That's but right. obviously I can't take any credit When for I that. wrote my original notes, I said it's probably between 95 and 100. <laughs> uh, but then I was like, I think I'm going to put my eggs in this basket, which was yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. I bumped mine down to 94. And then when you revealed mm-hmm. 84, I was like, whoo, good thing I bumped mine down to yeah. 94 at least. <laughs> uh, and then um, age, I said 14. Brian said six. Uh, neither of us got points because it is no age statement on this one. Uh, category, uh, I'm sorry, the finished, was it finished or not? Both of us said no, and we can... We can very much assume E.H. Taylor Rye has no finish. Uh, I said tin cup 14 and uh, Brian said four roses single barrel for the bottle guest. Neither of us got that one. And that's it. So there was a total of three plus two on Brian's side for a total of five. And Cole only got the fact that it was non-finished whiskey. That's two points. So Brian, well done. That is a, a total score for season one of... Five for Cole, four for Brian, one for Ty. So you did well. You did well. I didn't gotta, even be, think I'd beat you, to be honest. Hey, I got to throw myself a little bone here. Thanks to the Floki episode, the total mm-hmm. point run up for the season. Is that right? Is, that <laughs> is right? Cole 67, Brian 74. Oh, so, a total of seven yeah. points higher. You know, uh, yeah, you let's, killed on that, so. you know, Points aside, let's give a big round of applause to Cole here because even with me coming in with 31 points in one episode, Cole was still only seven behind me. <laughs> yeah, keeping up, keeping up. And he, yeah, that's the total amount of points you can get on one episode. So, yeah. But uh, if we didn't incorporate that episode, if we zeroed those out, wow, I'd beat Look you by guy. 17 points. Look at this guy. Man. That's not how hey. we play this game. <laughs> but we should, uh, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. We'll, we'll keep every season who got the most points and who won the total amount of episodes. So, uh, yeah, E.H. Taylor Rye, go buy it. We both loved it. Uh, if you could find it. Um, I have two bottles at home. Wow. Yeah. Actually, they're right behind my head. Two of them. Yeah. You have two unopened right behind your head? Two unopened and two unopened small batches. You just won season one of the reentry buzz. You should open one of those right now. I should. I should celebrate. (laughs) Celebrate. And I'm not against that. Um, Any other words, Brian, before we close it out for the season? No, I appreciate everybody watching this season one here. Uh, 
I'm sure we'll uh we might change some points up for season two yeah. and stuff we might change a couple things up but uh Oh boy, are we having fun, man. Even yeah, in the right. normal yes. podcast episodes, we dream about, oh, yeah. we're going to do a reentry of us soon. And we're so excited. Yeah. So we will mm. definitely keep doing these, even if the uh, even if the thumbs up don't come in and even if the view count yeah. stays at zero. But the best thing you can do for us stays is give us, a zero. Thumbs up. <laughs> give us a little thumbs up there, please. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, give it us shows us, a, shows us that, that you can. subscribe button. I <laughs> smash. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next season on the reentry. Podcast.